a very warm morning to one and all i am dr avishkar zagde and today we are going to talk about regeneration of nerve fiber so this is just a skeleton or a succinct or a pre form of the answer so before you elaborate these points need to be discussed or remembered for the lecture so we start with the introduction what exactly is to be written in the introduction is the reason why regeneration of nerve fiber does not occur in the cns it only takes place in the pns then we talk about the period it takes after degeneration for the regeneration to start and the time required for it to get complete so that's all we have to talk in the introduction then we talk about the factors which prevent this in the cns the factors are immune cells astrocytes neurilemma myelin and microglia so these are the factors which prevent regeneration in the cns after that we have to know the process of regeneration so let's see the sequence of changes so the sequence of changes occur at two levels one is the axon and another one is in the soma or the cell body in the axon there are four stages the first stage is the fiber formation stage the second one is the entry of fibers into the endoneural tube the third one is the stage of myelination and the last one is the stage of active growth so these are the stages which take place in an axon and then we have to mention the sequence of changes in the cell body or the soma after going through the process of regeneration we then have to know the factors which affect regeneration they are the neurilemma the presence of a nucleus the crushed nerve the distance the type of nerve fiber and the growth factors so these are the factors affecting the regeneration of nerve fiber after factors affecting you talk about the neurotrophins in neurotrophins you have to first define it and then you have to talk about the three neurotrophins which are experimentally proven to have effect in the human body you have to talk about their functions and in the end you conclude with the applied physiology so these are the topics which you should include while writing an answer for the same topic or when you plan to take a lecture or when you plan to read the topic from the textbook 